All right, so Chad, let's talk about something that is free. It's a little bit more Free. difficult than some of the other things we've talked about. Yeah, but, uh, but it's one of the most extremely effective. One of the most difficult things for a lot of agents uh, to hear and to do. Right, and that's prospecting. Yes. So there's a million ways to prospect, all free. Let's uh, dive into the most effective and proven ones. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I'll start out with uh, two of the most used and most uh, prospected people in the whole wide real estate industry, and that is expired listings and for sale by owners. Mm. So we all know expired listings. Expired listings is when a property fails to sell with another agent and the property comes on the market, or I'm sorry, goes off the market and becomes available for other agents to call. And uh, I call expired listings on a regular basis. I utilize a system called Red X. Um, that is a system that you have to pay money for. Um, there are other ways but you to don't get... have to. You can just pick up the phone and call. All Red X does is, is dial it for you so it's faster. Um, but or, it also gives, gives you the numbers. Gives you the numbers. But you can go online, you can, I mean, and just pull them up uh, by yourself, right? Um, Looking so on tax records, free. things of that nature. Yep. Um, so calling expired listings. Usually, uh, expired listings, huge source of business for a lot of agents. So here's one trick for you that I utilize. Uh, that I uh, go about doing in my practice in terms of calling expired listings is calling expired listings from two, three, four years ago. Wow. And, and you're doing that because uh, if you call the ones that just expired last night, yeah. you're going to have tons of agents calling as well. If you call one that expired two years ago that hasn't relisted, you'll be the only one that calls them, right? Pretty much. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So my script is very simple. It just goes like this. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, this is Chad Goldwasser with Pure Gold Realty. How are you? Hey, Chad. Hey, Pat. Um, I was just doing some market research on some homes in your neighborhood, and I noticed you had pulled your home off the market. Uh, I was curious, did you ever sell that home? No. Okay. Have you thought about putting that home back on the market? Matter of fact, we have now that the prices have gone up a little bit. Yeah, the market has definitely appreciated pretty greatly. When are you thinking about putting the home back on the market? You know, I don't really know. Uh, something we talk about from time to time. I don't even know what it's worth now, to be honest with you. And then from there, you go into your conversation about uh, wanting to go to the house, meeting with the people, uh, getting all the information to potentially take that listing. Yeah, giving, awesome. them, giving them a fair trade. Give, how, about, how about I stop by and I'll bring you an updated market analysis. So you're trading them for your opportunity to stop by. Yeah. Awesome build, way. Build a relationship with Awesome them. way to prospect for somebody that is not being, you know, bombarded right now. Because one of the biggest reasons that agents don't call expired listings is they know they're getting bombarded with phone calls and they're going to deal with some pretty upset people. So mm -hmm. the people from two, three years ago, they're not going to be upset because they haven't heard from anyone in a long time. Yeah. So yeah. great way to prospect for expired listings. And then, of course, FISBOs, you know, they're cliche, but... Um, you know, certainly people have already raised their hand saying, I want to sell. And so why not go to people who want to sell rather than creating people that want to sell? And how do we find for sale by owner homes? Um, online. Online, driving neighborhoods, Craigslist. Salebyowner.com. For salebyowner.com. Um, you mentioned another area of uh, for sale by owner type properties. That is the Zillow Make Me Move properties. Yeah, Zillow Make Me Move is huge. If you're not doing that, guys, uh, just, you know, people go on there and they say, you know, um, I, I don't want to move, but if I can get this price for it, if some knucklehead's willing to pay me X price for it, I'll move. And uh, so they're saying that there's a possibility that they'll move. And uh, as an agent, they're great people to prospect. They say, I see you're on Zillow Make Me Move. Uh, you're not listed with an agent. Had you considered listing with an agent? If I can get your price, would you list with me? Just another way to keep in touch or, or to meet somebody or to list a house for somebody uh, that sort of maybe wants to move now if the price were right. And who knows, maybe you can get them that price. And our job, our job and the entire uh, basis of this entire class is about becoming a lead generation machine. This mm. is 101 ways to generate free leads through real estate and every single bit of information that you're getting is to help you become a lead generation machine. So prospecting expired listings for sale by owners, the Zillow Make Me Moves. Uh, there is also 
just sold calls. So if I have sold a property in a neighborhood, uh, say I bring this neighborhood up a lot, but say I've sold the property in Circle C. Uh, I will then go into that neighborhood. I will pull up through my Coles Realty resource. Um, you can do it through tax records as well. I'll pull up a hundred neighbors that are around that particular property and I will call them and to let them know that I just sold a property and the script is very easy again. It's just ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Pat Hyben, this is Chad Goldwasser with Pure Gold Realty. How are you? Good. Hey, just a quick call. I wanted to let you know that we just sold a property down the street from you. It was at 123 Main Street. Property was listed at 575,000. We sold it in two days. We got them over the asking price. And I just want to let you know that there is only 12 properties listed for sale on the market in Circle C right now. The reason for my call is I was just calling to see, are you thinking about selling your home? Yes, as a matter of fact, we are. Just a simple call. That's a simple script for you. Just sold. You could call endless people. I used to call people, uh, it wasn't even my listing. It was just a company listing with the company I was with, another random agent and be like, hey, we just listed a house down the street. Or, or I would call full neighborhoods, full zip codes away and just say, hey, we just listed a house on Umpty Ump Street. And nine times out of 10, they don't know if that street's in their neighborhood or not. You know, it kind of all flows so fast. Um, you can call it. And there's people out there saying, hey, what about the do not call list? Well, get, you know, match it up to the do not call list. That's okay. You can do that. Um, but uh, if they're not on the do not call list, they're free game and you can just start banging away and calling as many people. If you don't have anybody to call, it's a great way to just knock out 100 a day or whatever it takes.